This is the Lenovo Tab P11 Plus I have in front of me and today we would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to begin with I would like to demonstrate that you can set up the face unlock feature so open your settings then enter the security category after that tap on this uh, well not screen lock the face recognition field over here prior to enrolling it we also have to set some backup screen lock method as well from the list of pattern pin or password I'll go with the pattern myself then draw which pattern I would like to use then redraw it like so After that tap on the blue continue button and you can start enrolling the finger the I'm um, sorry the face by placing it inside this little circle frame, which I will do off the screen real quick and let the system scan your, well, face. Alrighty, then you will get the following message that says that the face recognition is set. After that, you will be able to start using it. So let me, well, test it out quickly. So once I align the selfie camera with my face, the screen should get unlocked. As you can see, it works just fine. So, well, great success, I would assume. Uh, the next cool uh, option for uh, that we wanted to highlight today is located at display category of settings. So let me quickly enter it. It is called the uh, eye protection mode. Once enabled, as you can see, it will warm up the colors of the interface. Um, well, by effectively tinting the screen amber, reduces the amount of blue lights, reduces the eye fatigue. So, if you or, I mean, if you are finding this option useful, you can just go for it. I uh, hear this little bar provides you with an opportunity to adjust the mode intensity or the color warmness. You can also set up the custom schedule for this mode to be started and finished. Like so. Alrighty, so the next cool tip uh, for this video is, uh, well, located at the accessibility category. So let me quickly find it and will respect the answer. I'm not sure where to look for it. So here it is. It is called the magnification. So let's enable the shortcut for it. It allows you to zoom into the certain, I mean, zoom into your screen and display. So it will be a useful thing to have uh, for the occasions once you have some tiny text that you would like to well, make bigger and to recognize better or maybe some uh, big image that you would like to see the details on whatever is that regardless it is a very useful feature so in order to activate it you have to swipe with two fingers from the bottom part of your display like so I would assume yep once this little orange frame appears that means that you have successfully activated the magnification tool so tap at the screen zone that you would like to zoom into and then uh, regulate the zoom scale by the following swipes like I'm doing at the moment. Once you're ready to quit it, you can just make the same two finger swipe. As you can see, I'm not very agile with it, but whatever. And well, the magnification gets turned off. You can also make it so that it will be activated through the simultaneous press of both volume keys or screen triple tap. Already, the next cool thing uh, is a small tip that is located at the... I mean, prior to actually showing how you can enable the function, uh, I would like to make a little introduction, a small one. So as you can see currently, in order for me to see the exact battery percentage I have left, I have to well open the settings then go for the battery and see it over here. Uh, as you can see at the status bar and notification center, it is not being displayed. So if I would like for the battery percentage to be visible right next to the battery icon over here, I need to enter the well battery category and switch on this little toggle that says battery percentage. Alrighty, so finally we have, have uh, well, approached the fifth and well, concluding tip for this video. It is located at the system category and then go for gestures, not gestures already. So I have to find the system navigation really. I'm not sure where to look for it to be honest with you. So I will just search for it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, of course. It was at the display category of settings, my bad. So enter the display category, enter the system navigation. As you could have noticed, uh, well, up till this very moment, I've been navigating through my system uh, using gestures, but you can also change the system navigation type to an old school three digital buttons that will appear at the bottom of the screen. And now in order for me to navigate my device, I'll be, I mean, I'll have to use those buttons. So that's something, if that is something that you're into, just go for it like so. And that will be it, not only, for the, not only for the final tip, but for this video in general. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your attention and bye-bye.